everyone welcome back to small batch devs today we're going to do something a little different we're going to talk about the tab 9 ide extension and this is not a sponsored video it's just something we really appreciate and use in our day-to-day -day coding so we're going to make a quick video um, just talking about what it is and how you could use it to improve your coding experience yeah so tab 9 is an ide extension like austin st said uh, and it's really going to improve your IntelliSense suggestions and speed up your development process. So if you're unfamiliar with IntelliSense, IntelliSense is a general term for various code editing features, including code completion, parameter info, quick info, and members lists. Yeah, it's uh, basically that small window that pops up while you're coding and suggests methods, variables, and uh, most of the time, some helpful coding syntax. Tab 9 currently supports over 30 languages, including JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Rust, C++, Ruby, and like 24 other different languages. Yeah, and Tab 9 uh, can also be easily integrated into over 15 different IDEs, uh, including probably your favorite VS Code, Sublime, Idea products like IntelliJ and WebStorm, uh, and like 10 other IDEs. What makes Tab9 special is that it learns coding patterns through a deep learning AI process, which uses millions of lines of open source code to actually train itself on. Yeah, it's scary good. Um, it's, yeah, scary how good it is. <laughs> Seriously, even if you don't want to use this extension, you should probably just install it and try it out just to see how accurate Tab9 suggestions are. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and un uninstall it from your IDE. Yeah, it's you're probably thinking like, oh, this is probably not that much better than what I'm currently getting with my IntelliSense, but you're wrong. It's that good. Like, I, I use it, and the first time I tried it, I was... It was weird how accurate like it was suggesting what I should type next. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll you'll probably see some video clips of us just using it and it suggesting um, basically what we're trying to code anyways. But uh, another good point is that it's free. Um, this comes with the Tab 9's basic suggestion model, but it also has a paid plan that allows you to train the suggestion model on your own local code files to learn your project even better and make even more accurate suggestions yeah if you're, and if you're like whoa i don't want it reading my code or like sending data off somewhere uh tab 9 defaults to a local configuration so it's machine learning models are downloaded to your local development machine only uh, none of your source files or coding projects are going to leave your computer if you let it train on your code to install Tab9, you can follow one of their IDE guides online because those are very well made and helpful. But basically, if you're using IntelliJ or VS Code, you can install it through the plugins in IntelliJ and the extensions in VS Code. Yeah, so let us know if you try out Tab9, uh, what IDE you used it in, and if it scared you at how good the suggestions were. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We definitely appreciate it. Um, obviously, this was a little different than we typically do um, with how short it is and how we're just, you know, quickly talking about a specific topic. But uh, we'll see you all very soon. Peace.